Hey guys, welcome back to the Docker series. In my previous video, we have seen the fundamentals of Docker and how Docker makes development and deployments easy by using containers. Also, we have seen Docker replaces the VMs with containers. But what exactly is a container and how it differs from a VM? So without any further delay, let's get started. Let us see how we deploy an application traditionally on a bare metal server. We will have our hardware. It consists of CPU, RAM, etc. On top of this, we will have our OS installed, which can be Windows, Linux, or Mac. To understand what a container is, first we need to understand the architecture of OS. There are two major parts in an OS, kernel and application layer. Kernel controls the access to the resources and schedules processes. That means whenever we perform an operation, a process will be created and allocated some resources to that process like CPU, memory, etc. And in application layer, our applications get deployed, which typically contains a source code and required dependencies to run the application. And applications talk to kernel to schedule processes. Let's say we want to run two Java applications. One uses Java 8 and the other uses Java 10. But we have Java 8 installed in our system. So obviously the application which uses Java 10 will not work. When we have multiple applications like this, it becomes difficult to manage dependencies and applications. To avoid this issue, we need to isolate the application such that each application runs in its own environment with its dependencies. This can be achieved with the concept of namespace in OS. A namespace is a feature of Linux kernel that partitions the kernel resources such that one process sees one set of resources while another process sees a different set of resources. This partition is called a container. In the same way, we can create multiple containers with their own set of resources on a single host. Now, both Java 8 and Java 10 applications work. So with the namespace, we can easily maintain different applications with its own set of resources. You might be thinking that's what we are doing with the VMs too, right? Not exactly. Now let us see the architectural differences between a VM and a container. In VM architecture, we will have our hardware. On top of this, we'll have our OS installed. On top of hosted OS, we will have hypervisor. This hypervisor is responsible to create and maintain VMs. This is the reason a hypervisor is also called a VM monitor. Of course, a hypervisor can be installed directly on hardware that is mainly used in data centers like AWS. The hypervisor which runs on hardware is called type 1 hypervisor, example Microsoft Hyper-V. And hypervisor which runs on OS is called type 2 hypervisor, example VirtualBox. For now, Let's assume we have type 2 hypervisor which runs on OS. Each VM contains a guest OS that is specific to VM. This OS can be anything irrespective of the host OS. Meaning, Windows VM can be installed on the Linux machine and Linux VM can be installed on the Windows machine. This is the reason VMs can be run on any machine. Along with this OS, we will have our libraries like Java dependencies, node modules and our actual application which is typically source code installed in this VM. AWS EC2 is a typical example of VM but the guest OS is generally huge and our application doesn't use all of the features of OS. So we are wasting resources unnecessarily. Also this increases the cost as we need to get the OS license. These are the problems what exactly container solves. Container eliminates the need of guest OS. If we look at the container architecture, we will have our hardware and OS similar to the VM architecture. In place of hypervisor, we will have our container runtime. We have many container runtimes in the market like Docker, Racket, etc. This container runtime is responsible to create and manage the containers as we discussed in our Docker engine architecture. In a container, we will have libraries and apps running in an isolated environment. Here, we don't have a dedicated OS for containers and all containers share the same OS. 
This is the reason containers cannot run on a different OS. Example, an image built on Windows cannot run on Linux. As we don't have a guest OS, containers are lightweight and start very fast compared to VM. In our day-to-day -day life, we use containers without knowing. Dual apps feature in Android mobiles are using Linux container technology. So, to summarize, containers and VMs aim at the same purpose, that is, deploying multiple and isolated services on a single platform. VM virtualizes the hardware and the container virtualizes the OS. VMs have their guest OS whereas container shares the same host OS. VMs are of gigabyte size whereas containers of megabyte size. VM creation takes too long, a container can be created in seconds. VMs take time to boot up and containers can be started in seconds. VMs consume lot of resources, containers consume very few resources. I hope now you understand what a container is and how it differs from a VM. My name is Pavan Iltepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.